Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. This is the last act, and the 15th Horde approaches. There is no time to waste, so let's get to work. So today, the most important thing to do is get the fighting position all repaired. It is in really, really rough shape right now. So in the chem station, I have gunpowder going, I have steel going in here, brass going in here, and cement mix pumping out of that third forge there. I have some more mix pumping in here, so we should be good on resources for a little later on today. But for now, we need to get this, uh, some modifications done and some just upgrading done. I mean, this is almost completely destroyed. It's terrible. So I want to knock this out. Oh, great. There goes the rear bumper. Because I did kind of find that I liked having this a little bit wider. So what I was thinking is maybe... I put like a half blocks here instead, and then I should be able to whoop, put the plate right there because the game doesn't actually recognize that these are not connected. These are connected in terms of like what the game thinks. Now we need to get the rear bumper set back up just like that, and we'll get the front bumper set up as well. Now I was kind of just thinking to myself like, is there anything I can put here to like strengthen this block here? like? Maybe that? Uh, let's get some materials, upgrade everything, and see if it looks pretty good. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I'll have to get a little bit more steel and finish upgrading the most important blocks. Basically like the six here, six here. And uh, eventually, maybe some, like, these two here, and the bumpers, and the plate, and oh god, we, gotta, we have a lot of steel work to do. I'll put the rest of what I have into that block there. Uh, this will all need to be steel on the walkway. Demos must be pretty close. In fact, let's check the game stage real quick. 111, so yeah. Uh, 150 is when the demos start showing up, so I think we have quite a few days to go until that's a thing. And then I was thinking, um, what could we do real quick? Do I have any electric fence posts? Gonna need four of these and a switch to turn them on. So while that's crafting, I think what we'll do is uh, head onto the bike and go over to, let's have a look at the map real quick, to the treasure map and also down to the buried supplies. We'll bang those out real quick and then we'll come back to the base for more upgrading and things like that. All right, on to the bike, and I think we'll try and find that buried treasure first. Woo! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> landmines, look out for those. Yep, and we are into the snow biome, so um, mountain lions are a thing up here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, oh, ow! Uh, I think the supplies are right over here somewhere. Yep, here we are. And we've got the auger now, and it works so good when you have the block damage turned up. It's just a little crazy. Oh, hang on. We're supposed to be doing the uh, southwest corner. Whoa! Hello! Southwest corner. Southwest corner. Here it is. Aha! Here it is. Uh, man, I would say that this is really, really a thing. It is always right over here in this corner. And we found out that the crowbar doesn't work on the treasure cache, so I'll just use the auger. Holy crap! We got a Yeti down here. Get out of here! Oh boy! Yeah! Ow! Yikes. Okay. Uh, didn't bring a, an eye candy, but that's okay. We'll just put, throw the lucky goggles on and see what we get here. It looks like a little bit of ammo. Lots of money. Nice. Good enough. I think I have like four more of those treasure maps at home too, so... <laughs> we'll be digging up Jennifer's treasure for weeks. Alright, now we're off to the buried supplies. I'll meet you there. Woo! Whoa! Oh, jeez. Here we are. Overshot it just a little bit. All right, I'll take this wood here with the new head splitter, or whatever the hell this thing's called. Is this a head splitter? Oh, corpse maker. Close enough. Uh, southwest corner, where are you? Right here. Let's see what we can do this time. Oh, wow. Right on the money. Nice. Okay, we're gonna have a fight on our hands on this one, so make sure we have the right glasses on, grab the supplies. 
just some parts. We got a mod. So when you have the tier 2 buried supplies, it's most likely going to be parts and mods. When you have the tier 1, it is most likely to be food. And I am not doing too good on stamina here. Yikes. Ow! Alright, let's go turn our quest in, and we'll also... Well, I have tons of money on me now, so we can check the vending machines while we're at it. Alright, that's all the vending machines. Not a bad haul, a few nerd tats. Yeah, the usual stuff there. Alright, Joel, what do you got for me? Hatchet schematics and 9 mil. I will... Ooh, pistol. That's, uh, worth quite a bit. But ammo? We need the ammo for the new SMG turrets that we have set up, so I will take that. And any more jobs for me? Preferably something close by, and uh, he has none of that. So I'll take that tier 2 buried supplies to the southeast, and uh, I guess we could probably do that real quickly. Yep, ain't too far away. I'll meet you there. Alright. That didn't take long, and this is, uh, this is the starter village, like where we first spawned in. Luckily, this uh, quest here was not in the wasteland biome, which is where that bird came from. All right, southwest corner, where you at? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. It's too easy now. Ooh, ergonomic grip. It's probably one of the best mods in the game right there. Whoa, here we go. Ow. I'm kind of noticing here, none of Bragado's new zombies seem to spawn from these quests. Not sure if that's intended or not, but oh well. Alright, we'll head back to Joel and get our quest reward, and I, I think that'll do it for today. Alright, Joel, what do you got for me this time? Some more 9 mil. Ooh, 4 recog. Ooh, I don't think I can pass that up. That's nice. I, uh, nice. Okay, uh, just check his inventory real quick. This is the last day before the trader restock, so... Just make sure there's nothing here that we absolutely need. Uh, nothing terribly important. I will take those dart traps real quickly. And otherwise, you know, probably an extra crucible would not be the end of the world, but what I can craft got, those. Stranger. So I think I'll do that instead. I do want to get another iron forge going so that we can make steel a little bit more quickly. And now it's time for the big dig. Oh, and I've been totally forgetting, uh, while I'm doing this, might as well use a rock buster and drink a little bit of coffee. That way I'm just getting a, a few more stone, a few more clay per hit. Uh, it should be worth it. Get some of this crap out of the inventory as well and put the lucky glasses on, or the nerdy glasses on, so we get extra XP. Okay, now we are kitted up to do this properly. Don't forget to crouch down too if you want to generate a little bit less heat. Another little tip for you is uh, to, instead of pulsing your auger, like every time you click down, like this, you generate 1% heat. And when you get to 100%, a screamer will spawn. But if you hold it down, it, it only generates 1%. And then you get more like every time your auger makes a sound or you break a block, but you're generating a lot less heat overall. So try and hold down the mouse button as long as you can and get nice, like, steady strokes. <laughs> steady strokes. Ooh, we got iron here. That's nice. Oh, ow! Yes, that hurts. Okay, there we go. We can just take a painkiller. Or a bandage. I guess I only have one bandage. That's kind of concerning. Alright, that's pretty much it right there, and uh, we quickly need to make a way for zombies to get out of here, like that. And now, we need to make a corridor over to the base. Alright, that there will be the anchor point. And then there will be a door, just like this, and then you can use that to kind of uh, facilitate zombie traffic if you'd like. And then over here we'll have a sort of anchor point... Hmm. I'm gonna upgrade this for now. In fact, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I made an iron door, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. And we'll get this upgraded, but I might do some further modifications. Ugh, I need I need to take some time to kind of like pause the game or something and think about this. I uh, For tonight, I think this will be okay. Yeah, it's a few upgrades done. Let's go check on those electric fence posts. Yep, give me those. Also give me the wire tool. What I was thinking about doing is knocking these out real quick. And these ones. 
And then putting some electric fences like so. So this is going to turn these fences on. And I'll string these ones straight over here. And now we need to get a power line down there. Oh, look at that. We got a relay right there. Well, that actually is not going to be on all the time. We'll have to bring it off of this one right here, I think. So, yep. <laughs> I said I was going to make the base look nice and I've made it look terrible. It's okay. It's all about function, not form. Well, it sometimes it's about form, but yeah, anyways. All right, quick little test run here just to make sure this is operational. And yes, that works for sure. I do realize I could put the electric fences here but then the zombies would just get um shocked here and, the, and they wouldn't come up so they got, I could smack them in the face by putting the electric fence lines in here that way when these break like they did last night and the zombies were just kind of like jumping and piling in and uh that will help stop them from doing that we'll be able to just hold here if this position begins to fail at least that's the idea all right, so in terms of upgrades, I'm pretty happy with how things look right now. I'm going to just pop a couple of dart traps down, and I'm not going to use them just yet. We need to make a whole bunch of darts and all that crap, so but I can at least get them in place for now. Make sure those are in the right direction. They sure are. All right, got a little bit of crafting material together. We're going to make some shotgun shells. 350, that'll do. Whatever's left over, I suppose we can throw into 9 mil? Or should we do 762? Let's do 762, only 78. Limiting factor there is the gunpowder. Okay, I got a little bit more of that there. 39 more, okay. Get me some more steel out of this forge. Give me some more cement out of this forge. All right, we're in the final minutes before the horde. Just want to make sure that this has a little bit of extra ammo. Lock that. Check this one as well and uh, slap the rest of the ammo in there. All right, the electric fences downstairs are on. Electric fences upstairs are on. These, um, we need to turn those off, the SMGs. That is like final stand stuff right there. I will hop up here. Do I have any extra shotgun on me? I do. How does this look? Not great. Just slap all of the extra shotgun in there. I'll have 150 for myself for tonight. And my friends, the horde is almost upon us. Whoa, damn. Friggin' vultures. Alright, we forgot last night. Tonight, we're not gonna forget to get the blade traps going. Alright, coffee, skull crushers, and uh, repairs already. Holy crap. Zombies, stop that, please. Holy cow. Okay, get the hell out of here. So far, liking that we have a bit of a wider field of view here. Not bad at all, if you ask me. Oh, <laughs> we leveled up. We have six skill points. I totally forgot to spend my skill points today. That just means we're going to have a whole pile more tomorrow. I hear the shotgun shooting upstairs. Uh, I would try and look at it, but there's a ceiling in the way. <laughs> all right, today we got to be a little bit more conscientious about these repairs. Don't forget to repair. There's a spider that's been trying to jump over here, but he can't quite manage it. There's just not enough surface area for him to stand on. Alright, quickly get a repair or two in here. Yeah, I'm finding that having the bottom bumper there, it makes it so that dogs and spiders cannot get up in there where that loot bag is. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but 
it's a thing nonetheless. All right, here's that spider again. Let's see if we can get a couple bullets into him at least. Uh, unfortunately, if they're a radiated zombie, they do heal. So if you don't kill them right away, they'll end up regenerating. There he is. Get the gun. There we go. Oh, we got a couple of them actually. Oh, geez. Just get the guns out. Turn that light off. Oh, here he is. Oh, man, they do so much damage per strike. They can, like, degrade a hatch in just one hit. One fell swoop. Kind of like this. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take that bumper up to steel right there. That way, if it gets destroyed, it'll just degrade back down to reinforced concrete and won't be completely lost. Ooh, seven skill points now. Let's get some fire on these guys. Ow! I'm on fire! Oh, I'm good. Let's come over here next time and do that. <laughs> All right, let's get an air burst on him. There we go. Oh, look at the bumper. It's already in really bad shape. Wow, almost half, over halfway destroyed for that matter. Okay. I think the blade traps are destroyed. Let's see if I can reach them from here. Um... No, it, it looks like the answer is no. And that's kind of unfortunate because I put the dart traps over on the side where I could reach them from before. Okay, we need to get them fixed. This is crazy right now. Uh, let's just leave a couple presents for them before we leave. I'll actually, I'll take one of those back, please. Good. Can I reach the blade trap from here? I can. Oh, look right. This freaking red spider <laughs> jumping at me when I'm out the door here. All right, out here, get that one going. Whoa, look at those spiders jump after me. Okay. All right, we're back in business, it seems. Things are not going too poorly anymore, except uh, these friggin' spiders. Get out of there. All right, get some bombs here. Two at a time, I think, is a, is a good number. We'll send one downstairs for him as well, just for good measure. Oh, wow, I just knocked down, like, six zombies. I should have thrown one down for them, too. All right. Got him. Okay, he's dead. Here, have another one down there. Didn't get a single kill with that one. <laughs> it's all right. We'll get the timing down here eventually. The trick is you get a, a good group knockdown, and then you throw a pipe bomb like that. Throw that down. See if that does anything. Oh, well, I got like 10,000 XP out of it, so it must have done something. All right, we're up to eight skill points for the night. Holy cow, why are there so many rad spiders? Sons of bitches, get out of here. Die! Oh, there was a good group knock down there. Let's get a pipe bomb for him. And I'll throw one up here for him as well, just for the fun of it. Oh, we can't get a good view anymore because the dart traps. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just put the dart traps all on one side, like like the left side maybe, because I do like being able to come over to the right side and kind of gawk at the zombies getting blown up. Just kind of looking at it now, I maybe should have done a different block style instead of these half blocks here. Maybe I should have done a, like a ramp block instead. All right, we are having issues with the electric fence, and I don't have the um, electrical parts with me. Give me one second here. All right, we've got to get things fixed. This trap, uh, this base is not going to do very well without the traps. There we go. That's running again. And that's running again. Good. Okay, it's not too bad. Just got to kind of get used to things a little bit here and there. Oh, we're getting like regular rad zombies now. Yep, rad Big Mama. We've had a rad uh, janitor or something. I'll check that loot bag. Five beer. I could have guessed. Why are there so many spiders? Ah, I don't like this. Red janitor. Kill him. Oh, we got a red bow. Jeez, man. Rad's everywhere now. What happened? All right, this is about the time of night last night where they broke through, so let's be really careful to not let that shit happen again. Oh boy, this is getting kind of bad here. Get some fire on them. 
look at how many zombies are in here. Bah! You stupid spider. I gotta put some bars up here or something. Yikes. Get back. Got him. All right, now's the time to get the guns out. Oh my god, man. The rads are everywhere. And the spiders just keep jumping directly into the blade traps, the friggin' idiots. Repair, repair, repair. Oh my god, yes, repair a lot, please. Kill the rads. Kill them all. We've lost another blade trap. Let's see if we can get that fixed. These things are pretty important for this base. There we go. Still got seven minutes left on the skull crushers. However, I am out of coffee. I'll just drink one, I think. That should last us the rest of the night. Holy cow, man. Stop breaking everything. Ah! Ah! No! The hatch! Oh, shit! This is how it all started last night. Should be okay, though. I, I think they will have a really hard time jumping up in there. The pole on the top and the pole on the bottom here make it really difficult for zombies to squeeze their little bodies inside that hole. And if they do, there's two electric fence wires waiting for them. Ten skill points! Oh good, look at the loot bags just trying to get squished up in here. Alright, the lag is starting to fade away and I'm getting my frames back, which leads you to believe that we're, we're killing them off and they're not spawning back in. Yep, that seems to be pretty much it. Wow, almost destroyed. Get out of here, stupid spiders. Who's left out here? Ow! Alright, turn that off. Turn these off. I think we're good. Very nice, we did it again. And this is seemingly holding really well. I like this a lot. Ooh, pretty substantial damage here on these blocks. These need to be steel. Starting now. Well, uh, maybe starting a little bit later. I will get that hatch replaced right now. Might as well. There it is, morning. All right, as is custom, lucky goggles on and looting candy in. And we will see what they left for us. Ow, not again. All right, and as I was uh, getting the first half of that loot there, I was thinking about skill points, and I know that we want to go further into the intellect tree, and we will, but just for the remainder of this loot, I thought it would be kind of fun to go into Lucky Looter. So we're definitely at a game stage now where Lucky Looter is going to have an impact. We could also go into Demolitions Expert more by doing this. So in order to get level 5, I would need Perception level 7. That's uh, a little bit too much for now, but if we could get level 3, that would be nice. That's all we need right there. Three points into Perception and three points into Lucky Looter. I'm just gonna go ahead and take another point there. Pop the nerdy glasses back on. That way we can get Grease Monkey up another level. And then we can take Robotics Inventor up two levels as well. And I can put another punch turret down here tomorrow night. So now let's check and see what we get with the rest of these loot bags. Ooh, the looting speed is like much higher too. Nice. Well, nothing dramatically helpful with those last couple loot bags. One more chance here. Nope, nothing really. That's okay though, the good loot will come with Lucky Looter. Speaking of good loot, let's have a look at what we got in the haul today. A little bit of steel leg armor. I'll slap some of that on my body. And I will go through the rest of this a little bit later on. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, the horde has been dispatched and we can finally call it a night. I'll get this place all cleaned up and we'll start making preparations for the next horde later in the morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who helped grow and shape this channel. My name is Temricky, and I hope that I've earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.